here we are on top of the bookshelf next to the painting desk where we have a review of this uh, paint rack from the Broken Token. This is their larger or wider of the Citadel paint racks that they sell. And uh, I got this as a gift. Uh, very thankful to uh, the uh, folks who gave this to me. Do appreciate that. It's not from the Broken Token. It was uh, from uh, people that I know, relatives. So I like to keep my Citadel paints in here. I mean, it's Citadel paint sized. So if you ever thought, hey, does he have any Citadel paints? The answer is, uh, yes, I do. These are the specialty ones. You'll notice there's no, you know, just regular base paints in here. These are all specialty paints. If I zoom up here, I've got all my contrast paints. These are all my Citadel contrast paints. I own 10 of the different colors of those. They're just so expensive. I haven't gotten more yet. I get them when I need them. And uh, even then, I try to try to minimize that just because... Uh, I do have things like the good old Hex Wraith Flame here, and then I have my basing textures. I really like the Citadel basing textures. I have my shades. These are all my Citadel uh, shade paints. So I've got my Nolan Oil Gloss, my regular Nolan Oil Agrax, a little bit of Reichland, and some Vile Tan Green. That's the stuff I use a lot on my orcs. And then down in the front row, we have the Citadel um, Tesseract Glow. This is great. Uh, by the way, if you have Tesseract Glow, I don't know if you can hear them in there, but I put a couple of Army Painter mixing balls in there because this stuff, like that green layer on the bottom, will eventually shake into the paint if you shake it long enough, and it's essential to shake it in before you use it. So, you know, I've got my Dry Rust, I've got my Typhus Corrosion, a little bit of Nurgle's Rot there, some Nylic Oxide, some Night Haunt Gloom, a lot of my Night Haunt paints here. I use this a lot for flames on the night haunt. I do not play Necrons, so there you go. Back to the rack, because this is really a review of the paint rack. And I like this rack. It's nice. It's a very nice rack. The thing that I don't like about it is it's very flimsy. Like you poke on it, it's very flimsy. It feels so cheap. And, and it's not cheap. Uh, these are about $20, I want to say. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit more once you factor in shipping. They go together okay. The tabs are flush, which is great for putting them like one next to each other. You know, this is where I'd put my second one if I had one. Uh, but um, that's, you know, that's great if you, if you have another one. I don't right now. I'm sure I'll appreciate that when I do. The thing I don't like as much though is that you have to glue in these tabs. You have to sand them. You have to do all that to get them in there. And this, again, it just, it feels so flimsy. I'm really delicate with this. If this falls off the shelf, it's done for. Like, this is just not a sturdy type of product. I would have liked to have seen them uh, use maybe a little bit stronger material for it. It does just feel, uh, I don't know, it feels cheap. That's the thing. It, it feels cheap, but it's not cheap. Like, I feel like this is going to snap. And it just, like, look at that. It just, uh, if like I said, if it falls off, it's going to... It's going to break if um, you spill any of the shades on it. The liquid is going to soak it right up and like swell and get, you know, like particle board. It's basically particle board. And so I don't enjoy that about it as much. It does have a spot for brushes in the back. That's kind of nice. Uh, I keep some of my specialty brushes. This is my uh, white glue brush that I got at a pack of five from the dollar store. And then this is my really nice army painter brush that... I try to keep nice because I am not nice to brushes. So trying to keep that one nice. And so far I've been doing it by not using it a whole lot. Uh, but that's, uh, that's the way that I keep my brushes nice if I need to. Anyways, overall, I'm giving this one about a C. Uh, I see lots of room for improvement if the Broken Token wants to, you know, improve it. Um, they certainly can change up the materials a little bit, maybe reinforce it, uh, have the pieces be a little larger and these um side pieces I think really could afford to stick through even though you won't put them flush up against each other it's just that extra security you know like the clips on some of the ones I've seen it's another review up on the channel of, of one I got off of Amazon those clips would go a long way here I, I there's you know I'm gonna use it I'm gonna keep it obviously I've got it set up it's holding my paints it's doing its job it looks all right but I just, uh, I don't know. I think if there's a better solution out there, uh, go find it. 
I haven't looked a lot yet, so <clears throat> it's hard to say, you know, oh, this is, um, you know, giving this a C. How many of these have you tried out? This one. This is my only, only Citadel paint rack. Well, not quite. Okay, there is another one. There is another, but eh, I don't know. We don't, we don't talk about that one too much. Um, I'll give a review on that on the channel, the follow-up on that one. The unboxing uh, is already up. You might have heard the disappointment in my voice. Uh, spoilers, uh, it doesn't get much better. And so I, I do like this. I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep it. I might even buy a second one. Uh, but I wish there was something a little bit better out there or that they would improve it just enough to take it from okay to good or great. Well, I hope this helps if you're thinking about getting a paint rack for your Citadel paints. Maybe this is one that you're looking at and you wanted to see you know, an opinion on it. There you go. There's mine. Thanks for watching.